Steve Hartman this morning has a story of grief and forgiveness that is truly beyond words. <laughs> Nakia Cherry in the black and Stacy Green in the bright may look like besties from way back, but this is a bond born from bitterness. I love you so much, Miss Stacy. Nakia, I'm so sorry. Do a twirl. Four years earlier, Stacy's mom, Rosie, was killed in a car crash. The other driver, Nakia Cherry, was doing 73 in a 45. Atlanta area police charged her with vehicular homicide, and Stacy was glad to see her suffer. Yes, I was consumed. By what? Anger, sadness, loss. I mean, Stacy was furious. Let's see. Attorneys Jeb Butler and Tom Giannotti yeah, represented Stacy in the civil trial, and they made sure to keep the parties in the case apart. I was worried that if they got together, the result would be incendiary. I was very pleasantly wrong. Instead, last October, Stacy went up to Nakia in this courthouse. She thought of what her minister mother would say, and then told Nakia, I forgive you. And when I forgave her, it's like I was reborn again. You make it sound like a miracle. Nothing short. It was an extraordinary step, but only the first step. From then to now, Stacy has gone so far beyond the words, I forgive you, to the actions of, I love you. She's like a godmama to me. I talk to her every day. Nakia lost everything after the crash. She now lives in a motel. So I am committed to her life getting better. Like how? So I've helped her with money for food. You've given her money? Yes. Rent. I was her daughter's secret Santa. I booked a trip for her to go to Miami for her 40th birthday. <laughs> her attorneys say they've never heard of anything like it. She's remarkable, they're, you know, remarkable person. And all that's great, it, you know, that separates conversation from conviction. Stacy didn't have to do that. I'm gonna cry. Actually, Stacy says she did have to do all that, or she could have never forgiven herself. We gotta make the best out of this situation.